Hi everyone, it's Maya from wholesomeyum.com and today I'm showing you how to make keto mac and cheese with cauliflower. Now, before I get all the comments about this, yes, I know cauliflower mac and cheese is not really macaroni, but it's got all the same flavor, it's got all the same comfort food factor, and I think you're really gonna like this, so give it a try, even if it's not real pasta. This recipe is great for anybody that's veggie shy, a great way to get vegetables in, or if you love vegetables like me, it's also equally delicious, and it takes just 30 minutes to make, so there's no reason not to make this for a weeknight dinner, or even a special meal. This low carb mac and cheese recipe has been on my blog for several years now. It's creamy, it's cheesy, it's got a lot of really great reviews, and that's why I decided to include it in my Easy Keto Carboholics cookbook. If you miss carbs while eating keto, bread, pizza, pasta, rice, potatoes, mac and cheese, you're gonna love this book. It's filled with healthier, low-carb versions of all those foods so you don't have to feel like you're missing out. I'll link down below where you can pick up a copy. But this cauliflower mac and cheese, I'm gonna show you how to make it right away. Let's do this. I'm going to roast the cauliflower for this keto mac and cheese recipe. So the first thing we're gonna do is line a pan with parchment paper. You can also use foil or omit this step if you want to. You're going to need one large head of cauliflower. Cut it in half first, then into quarters, and then just cut away the core just like this. After that, go ahead and cut into small florets. I like to keep these florets super small because getting multiple pieces in each bite is gonna be closer to a real mac and cheese texture, plus they roast so much faster this way. But ultimately it's up to you what size you like. Next, I'm going to season the cauliflower very simply. I have two tablespoons of melted butter here. If you like, you can use two tablespoons of olive oil, which is what the newer version in the book uses. Usually butter is not a good idea for roasting, but with the short time we need for these small florets, it's actually perfectly fine. So use either one you like. And I've also added half a teaspoon of sea salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper here. Go ahead and mix this all together until each piece is coated. And then we're going to transfer this to the lined baking sheet. Make sure that your baking sheet is large enough so that each piece has enough breathing room. You want each piece touching the pan. This is going to ensure that your cauliflower cooks evenly and that each piece gets a little bit of browning. Because these florets are smaller, they're going to cook fairly quickly. Roast them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes at 450 degrees Fahrenheit until crisp tender and browned on the edges. Meanwhile, we're going to cook our keto mac and cheese sauce. This is super simple. You're going to combine a quarter cup of unsweetened almond milk, or you can also use coconut milk here, or really any milk you like, and a quarter cup of heavy cream. Coconut cream works fine here as well, but the cheese sauce is still not gonna be dairy-free because of the cheese. And I'm adding one cup of shredded cheese and one tablespoon of butter. Now you're gonna heat this together in the microwave or a double boiler on the stove, until it's nice and creamy and smooth, just like this. You can even use this cheese sauce for other things. It's delicious over roasted broccoli. I'll link that recipe below for you. Once the cauliflower is done roasting, transfer it to a large bowl. I like to use this big turner, which makes this process a little faster. I'll link it down below for you in case you want one of these. And now we're just gonna pour the cheese sauce over the cauliflower. If by chance the cheese sauce is no longer liquid enough by the time that your cauliflower is done, you can easily reheat it to make it runny again. And now just use a spoon or spatula to gently fold the cheese sauce into the cauliflower. Be gentle here so that you don't mash it, you still want those pieces. There you have it, cauliflower mac and cheese in less than 30 minutes. I'm gonna transfer this to a nice serving bowl now, but you could totally save on dishes and just serve it in the mixing bowl if you like. Look at how creamy and cheesy this is. This has all the comfort food factor of real mac and cheese, if you ask me. Ready to serve. I'm gonna serve this for dinner for my family tonight, but let's be real, I have to try some right now. Speaking of family, I have a little visitor today. And we are going to try this keto mac and cheese together. Go ahead, Gabby. Well, now she's just gonna eat this whole plate. Maybe I don't get to try it, but trust me, this is good. It might not be real pasta, but it's gonna bring you right back to childhood. I hope you'll make this keto mac and cheese soon. 
If you do, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I love hearing from you. And snap a photo, post it with hashtag wholesome yum so that I can see it too. See you next time on Wholesome Yum, where I share easy, healthy, and keto recipes, all with 10 ingredients or less.